What's up, Barking Family? Welcome back to my channel. So a while ago, I uploaded a video about 18 things you should not be buying at Dollar Tree. And this was based off an article by Kiplinger.com. In that video, I discussed if I agree or disagree with the items that they had shared. And for the most part, I disagreed actually with things they said not to buy at Dollar Tree. In this video, I'm gonna be discussing 18 things you should be buying at Dollar Tree. Before we begin this video, I wanna hear what you guys have to say. What is your favorite item to buy at Dollar Tree? Please Please leave the comment down below. I would love to see what you guys have to say on your number one favorite item. So we're going to start off with my favorite thing that you should be buying at Dollar Tree. Always cards. If there is a Dollar Tree in your area and you need to buy a birthday card, a card for a holiday, go to Dollar Tree. They have such a big selection. And though Dollar Tree has raised their prices by a dollar and 25 cents, you can still buy these cards at two for a dollar or a dollar a piece. You can find inexpensive cards at Walmart. They have 98 cent cards, but Dollar Tree has a bigger selection of great quality cards, name brand cards like Hallmark, and just a big array of them. They even have licensed characters. And 98 cents, you're not gonna get the licensed characters at Walmart or Walgreens, Target. No, you are not. Next up on our list, along the same lines, bags. Dollar Tree has a big selection of bags for a dollar and 25 cents. They have big bags. They have giant plastic bags that you can put things like bicycles inside of. They have small bags. Sometimes the quality on some of their bags can be a little flimsy, in which case carry the bag from the bottom place it on the gift table, whatever it might be, and then move right along. But for the most part, they are good quality bags at $1.25. You can find 98 cent bags at Walmart, but usually all the Walmarts near me, it's very hard to find these bags. They're usually sold out, and then you're stuck getting the more expensive bags that are about $2, $2.35, and above that price point. Next up, cleaning supplies at Dollar Tree. They have brooms that come with the top and the handle for a dollar. 25 cents or you can buy brooms where you get the handle and the top separately and you're going to be paying two dollars and fifty cents but it's a better quality than the one that you get for a dollar and 25 cents already as a whole and each one though they get the job done they do what they are intended for does pants for a dollar and 25 cents squeegees buckets at dollar tree are a great price they are expensive elsewhere let me tell you it's hard to find a bucket for a dollar and 25 cents if you're familiar with my channel which if you are not make sure you subscribe subscribe you know one of the things I'm gonna say next crafting supplies at Dollar Tree specifically wood crafting supplies from Dollar Tree they are great at a dollar and 25 cents you can find 99 cent items at Michaels which actually there too it's going up but the selection is so few same at Hobby Lobby you might be able to find some pieces that are close to a dollar not quite a dollar but again you have to go I have to Hobby Lobby when the item is on sale. If you go and it's not on sale, you're paying full price and that's gonna be more than what you're gonna pay at Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree has such a great selection. So if you're into crafting, I highly recommend going to the Dollar Tree crafting section and looking at their wood crafts. Even their galvanized metal section. Oh my gosh, you guys, $1.25 is a great price. You aren't gonna find that at Hobby Lobby. They are very expensive at Hobby Lobby. Walmart does have wood pieces that are gonna cost you more than $1.25 cents but you are getting a bigger piece and a better quality piece so if you're looking for bigger items that Dollar Tree does not carry I do recommend giving Walmart a try next up organizing containers from Dollar Tree Dollar Tree has a big selection of organizing containers they have them all year round and they change the colors and the types they get pretty often I prefer any of the neutral colors that they get in but they do get very vibrant colors if that's what you are into you can find organizing containers for 98 cents at Walmart. They just don't have a big selection of smaller organizing containers. Their containers are usually bigger sizes and obviously Dollar Tree doesn't carry big sizes. So check out Walmart or Big Lots if you're looking for good quality, inexpensive, bigger containers. Along those lines of organizing containers, check out Dollar Tree for food organizational pieces, pieces you can use in the kitchen. They have great pieces that are BPA free that are great for organizing inside of your refrigerator, inside of your pantry. I love these pieces from Dollar Tree. They also have wire pieces that are good if you're trying to add height inside of a cabinet, if you're trying to organize like pots and pans. You can find these for $1.25 
cents at Dollar Tree. I went to Walmart and it was very hard to find something at that price point. I know though at Walmart you're gonna get something that is a better quality, but Dollar Tree's products get the job done. It's not like your stuff is just falling apart on you or you grab the container and then there's a hole that just comes through the bottom and everything falls everywhere. It gets the job done. This is random on this list because I know a lot of people might not need this foam board. Foam board is expensive elsewhere. Granted, again, it's one of those pieces where if you buy it elsewhere, you're going to get a better piece. But the foam board from Dollar Tree gets the job done. So I'm going to get it from Dollar Tree for $1.25, one piece, rather than go somewhere else and pay $3 for one piece, or even worse, $7 for one piece. While we're on the topic of foam, styrofoam, I use a lot of styrofoam to make fake sweets. So I will use the styrofoam balls, cut them in half from Dollar Tree, and use them to make mug toppers. I I sometimes would get the styrofoam halves at Hobby Lobby and at the like it depends because the price of everything has gone up over there sometimes you can get stuff for $4.99 and it'll be six pieces for $4.99 so you might want to give them a look but you're not going to find big styrofoam pieces at Hobby Lobby or Walmart for a dollar and 25 cents for instance I got this cone recently from Dollar Tree a dollar and 25 cents the same one at Walmart was three dollars let's talk about the glass dish dinner at Dollar Tree. You can find a big selection of dinner plates to salad plates, mugs, and glasses. They have seasonal pieces as well as pieces that are just solid. If you go to Walmart, you can find white and black plates for 98 cents and they just got pretty much like one specific kind that you can get. At Dollar Tree you can get a different array from just round plates to plates that have a square shape or rounded out edges. I really love to go to Dollar Tree if I'm looking for seasonal plates in particular. That way I can change up my tablescape for cheap. In this section you tend to find chargers and they have so many beautiful chargers. I love the wood ones and the gold ones. If you go to Hobby Lobby they have their chargers chargers for $1.99 and this is their everyday price which means these do not go on sale. However at Hobby Lobby you find colors that Dollar Tree does not carry but if you're looking for gold, silver, red, um, the wood look to it, go to Dollar Tree, see if they have it first because you're going to get it cheaper there and it's the same exact size. Seasonal items at Dollar Tree you cannot beat it whether it be seasonal craft supplies, party supplies, or home decor. You can find inexpensive pieces at other stores, but for the most part, you're gonna get this big selection of items for just $1.25. You know what you're getting when you walk into that store. You don't have to look at every tag, figure out the price, and figure out how much it's gonna cost you when you go to the cash register. You know what it is when you go to Dollar Tree. You know what you're getting. I love to shop at Dollar Tree for seasonal items. I talked about this before on my channel, Planters. I think Dollar Tree has an amazing price on planters. It's very hard to find a dollar and 25 cent planters at Home Depot, any other hardware store. Walmart, they have ones that are similar in price, but they do have more expensive items. Again, better quality at Walmart. You're going to get a different look to them. But if you're looking for inexpensive pieces that get the job done, go to Dollar Tree. And the great thing about the Dollar Tree planters, they are really easy to DIY with. So if you're trying to change them to suit your type of decor, you can change them real easily. If you're trying to make bigger pieces, you can stack them on top of each other to make those bigger pieces and still save money. So I recommend going to Dollar Tree if you are looking for planters. The next item on our list is one of those pieces where if you can find it at your Dollar Tree, because I know not every Dollar Tree has a good selection of these, but shirts. If you can find shirts at Dollar Tree, get them at Dollar Tree. If you're looking for just solid shirts, especially shirts you actually want to craft with. If you own a Cricut and you want to do designs, go to Dollar Tree, $1.25 at Dollar Tree. If you're going to get them on sale at Hobby Lobby, it's going to be like $2.99. Walmart has $2 shirts, but they don't have as big as of selection as Dollar Tree when Dollar Tree does have a good selection. And it's usually gilded that you're going to find for the inexpensive price at all of these stores. But sometimes Dollar Tree even has American apparel. And if you know American apparel, I don't know if they're as, they're as popular as they were once upon a time anymore. 
However, they are very good quality shirts and they have this very buttery feel to them. They're very, very soft. And then you can find other brands at Dollar Tree that are name brand or brands that you're gonna find for a higher price somewhere else. If there's one item on this list that I feel like I might get a little pushback from, it is pool noodles. But hear me out. I know you can get pool noodles at a Walmart for a dollar. However, the ones from Dollar Tree are bigger in my opinion. And I really like to buy them at Dollar Tree because they tend to be in stock more near my stores versus Walmart. Walmart, when they get their pool noodles in, they are very hard to find again. If you're not familiar with my channel, you might be like, why the heck is she talking about pool noodles? Like, does she love to swim that much? No, I love to craft with pool noodles. I do lots of DIYs using them on this channel, especially during Christmas time. I always have my annual pool noodle video. So if you are interested in that, make sure you subscribe for my Christmas video, which obviously it's not coming out soon, but it'll be out later this year. So make sure you subscribe for that. Next up on our list, books. I don't know any store that beats Dollar Tree on the price of their books. Granted, not everything is going to be a New York bestseller. Not everything is going to be the classic children's book, but you're going to be able to find some great books at $1.25. My favorite books to get from there are actually Sesame Street books. They're $1.25, but these books have helped Cooper, my son, so much learning his shapes, learning his colors, learning how to even read colors. My son can read colors and not just because red is the color red, I could change it to the color purple and write out red and he knows it's red. And it's because of the Sesame Street books and YouTube. I'm not gonna lie, there's like some really great videos on YouTube, but I read these books to him every single night. He doesn't get bored of them and I love them. I actually have a few more party supply related things in this list, but I wanted to save it further down on the list because I didn't want you guys to think this was just a party supply list. However, party supplies are on this list. Dollar Tree carries so many, a lot of party supplies at $1.25. And what I love is now they have a lot of themes. Before it was kind of like random and you're rummaging through things trying to find what you want. Now there are themes like dinosaur, um, unicorns. They have like this block theme, a rainbow theme. You can find so many items that are an amazing price point. They even have like a cake supply section now that has stuff you need for icing, for fondant, and little like cupcake picks. They have cupcake treat boxes, icing, sprinkles, you name it. Dollar Tree has done such a great job at bringing these items in at an affordable price point. You can go to Hobby Lobby, I will say, and find items still at a dollar when it's half off. So maybe if you're trying to really look for the best deals, try other stores. Uh, Walmart has things for 98 cents. It's just that Walmart doesn't have as big as a selection for 98, 90, sorry, 98 cent items. There's an item in the party supply section that I do want to highlight and include in this list on its own. It is the party bowls from Dollar Tree. They have an amazing selection of candy bowls, punch bowls, trays, and they are so cheap at Dollar Tree. And what I love is they have colors now. It's not just the clear stuff. You can find colors and that makes it really easy to find pieces that are going to suit your type of theme for your party. I have bought these in the past before, the clear ones. I used them on my son's birthday party last year, his Sesame Street theme party. I got little labels and I put the type of candy that was in these containers. It was a dollar then, which was an even better price. But even at a dollar 25 cents, I bought some this year because I know that they are a great price and I'm not going to find them cheaper elsewhere. I know that Party City has some containers for 99 cents, but the selection isn't big and they tend to be on the smaller side. Also, they are just clear colors. Now on this list, glassware like vases from Dollar Tree. I'm going to reference Walmart and Hobby Lobby a lot in this video because those are the two stores I went to in particular to compare prices. And when I went to these stores, I could not find things for $1.25. I could find things that maybe on were on sale that were close to that price point, um, maybe even at a dollar at Hobby Lobby. But again, it has to be on sale in order to get it at that price. However, those were small glass pieces, not big glass glass pieces. For instance, Dollar Tree carries these big glass containers for $1.25. The same ones at Hobby Lobby, half off would have been $3. This is the one item on this list that's really a catch-22 in my opinion, and that is picture frames. It's high on my list. I think you should go to Dollar Tree to get picture frames. The only thing is they can be flimsy, so handle them with care. As long as you handle them with care, you can find amazing pieces for so 
cheap. The cheap ones that you're gonna get at Walmart, it's the same kind of quality and it's more than what you're gonna pay at Dollar Tree. I love these wood toned ones that they have, especially I love the ones that have like the gold rim and then different colors. So I got these blue ones. They look high end. They are so chic. I paid $1.25 for each one. Even the big one was $1.25. Put whatever picture you want inside of there. So inexpensive. I love the Dollar Tree picture frames. Like I said, just handle them with care. This is an item that I don't see at every single Dollar Tree that I go to. But when the Dollar Trees I go to have them, have them, it is a great price. And it's bread products. Dollar Tree sometimes, they get bread items in. So basically there's a distributor that might have some that are going out of code soon. So they sell them to Dollar Tree and Dollar Tree is able to sell them at the $1.25 price point. So you will find items that are going to go out of code soon. But lots of times you can find stuff where it's still good for a week. You can find stuff where it's good for a couple of days. As long as you're going to get through that, you can find name brand English muffins for $1.25. I've bought Edmunds Donuts for $1.25. And I eat those things up not by myself granted so that's it for this video about 18 items you should be buying at Dollar Tree again let me know what are your favorite items to buy at Dollar Tree if you want to see the list of items not to buy at Dollar Tree I will have that link down below for you guys thank you so much for watching this video you guys I really do appreciate you if you're not subscribed to my YouTube channel yet make sure you subscribe I tend to upload lots of Dollar Tree content especially Dollar Tree DIYs thank you so much for watching I will see you guys next time take care bye